Okay, what is Hydrophone? Hydrophone is a consumable on subs that shows the position of ships beyond the spotting range when underwater. Also detects submarines at operating and maximum depths. So what does that mean? Okay, so I used to watch some Tom Clancy, uh, or read Tom Clancy, and uh, the Hunt for the Red October kind of talked about sub warfare and stuff, and there is a I could, of course, be wrong on this, but there is a thing that's known as like the thermocline layer, uh, which is a there's a layer where there's a temperature difference between, you know, water that's up and then, you know, on the high part and then water that goes down deeper into the ocean, etc. So this is modeled in a way in that you have your this is your surface and periscope depth. You then have your operating depth, and then you have your maximum depth. Now it says here, detect submarines at operating and maximum depths. So what does that mean? What does that mean? Uh, if your sub, which will give you a little sub, whatever. If your sub is below the layer, then your sub is going to be able to actively listen to both the operating depth and maximum depth out to a max of, it looks in this case, six kilometers. So if an enemy sub is below or is operating down here, then you're going to be able to spot him, actually just spot him. So you can see him, you can ping him, you can interact, etc. If the sub is moving anywhere in this area, you'll be able to visually acquire the sub. However, if the sub extends, goes above the thermocline layer, while you are below it, the sub will disappear. You will no longer be able to use your hydrophone as sound is going to bounce off the layer and not really penetrate. Now that's not technically true, as you do have this interval between pings. The interval between pings kind of breaks this concept in that you fire off an active ping and that active ping will give you a snapshot of where things are so it'll give you a lot of, like a visual representation i think with the sub it's like a little uh splashy blip thing but you'll see a visual representation of ships that are up on the surface you'll see like a little snapshot of them and they disappear so it's a very brief brief interval but not only when this happens do you get to see personally a little flash uh, it's also going to update the position of the enemy ships on uh, on the minimap. So, for instance, if you have uh, if you have a smoked up DD that's you know doing sneaky stuff or whatever, while you have your hydrophone up, every 15 seconds you'll see that little ghost. Now the DD could be moving, could be moving forward, could be moving backward, could be sitting still. You don't get to see the movement pattern. You just see. You see a little ghost and then it disappears and you could try to ping or do something off of that That's going to be the interval between pings So this is going to interact with the map the mini map and it's going to interact with a little Visual and then it goes away But the big thing is when using this to fight subs If you are under the thermocline layer if you are in operating or maximum depth You will get to see a sub which is also doing the same if you have thrown your torpedoes you you know, you're being hydrophoned back, you could instead climb up into periscope depth or surface depth, and the hydrophone will no longer be able to detect you. The pings may update your location on the minimap, but it gives no visual indication for the enemy sub to see and to fire pings at and to have interactions. Basically, they don't see you anymore because you're going up into the noisy upper waters where there's splashing and waves and this and that, and it gets lost amongst the noise. Now, a hydro consumable on a surface ship, uh, the hydro consumable will be able to detect subs at anything all the way down to uh, the bottom of operating, it will not detect down to maximum, but hydrophone works very differently. <clears throat> so this kind of gives you that explanation. Hopefully that was uh, helpful.